Welcome back. We are here looking at the cryptocurrency market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, July 5th, 2021. If you like to support the channel and you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And we'll start by looking at Bitcoin. And as you can see, uh, both on Saturday and, and also on, on now on Sunday, it has been rallying Bitcoin and we are approaching the 50 moving average. Question is whether or not we break down from here. Um, if you look at technical English, they do, uh, do favor the upside at this current stage, but we are far away from the 200 moving average and probably just see more of the same. Uh, so the question is whether or not we break above here. If we get rejected, then it's very likely that we'll go back to 30K and then to 28K and then probably much lower than that. So we are definitely in a downtrend at this current stage. And these rallies to the upside have all been sold into for basically, yeah, the last two months. So let's look at Ethereum. So Ethereum has also rallied significantly on both on Saturday and also now on Sunday. And now we are approaching the 50 moving average. Last time we were here, we see that we broke down, broke down. And now the question is whether or not we break down yet again. If we do break down from here uh, again, then we're probably going to test 1600, 1700, and then we'll have a crossing of the 20 and the 200 and the 50 and the 200. And that will, of course, make this market go significantly lower. We could also go really choppy in the next uh, few days or probably weeks uh, before and stabilize. And then it probably will more likely that will rally to the upside. Technical indicators are all favoring the upside at this current stage. So let's look at Cardano. So Cardano has also round, continued rally since the bottom here at roughly $1. We're approaching uh, the 50 moving average and trading at the 1.44. And the question is whether or not we break above the 50 moving average. If we do, then we probably go test the 1.8. If you get rejected here, then 200 moving average down at 1.04 will probably come into play. We are, all other technical indicators are very bullish at this current stage. So let's look at Litecoin. Yes, it has definitely, the movement, momentum has definitely been for the, for smart contracts, for example, Ethereum. Um, not so much for Litecoin, to be fairly honest. Um, if you look at this, we are we are struggling to get past uh, 20 exponential. If we have a drop, for example, in Bitcoin or Ethereum, and then we will have a massive drop here. Have a crossing of the 50 and 200. 50 is moving this direction. We'll probably run into the 50 and then get rejected here. Or we just get rejected at the 20 and then we drop towards 100 and significantly lower than that. Break above the 50, then we'll have to test the 200 moving average, and that will be uh, where this probably will all turn around. So, if you look at technical indicators, they're all uh, pointing to higher levels, or momentum is definitely to the upside at this current stage. So, let's look at NEO. So, NEO, very similar. This is taking the same graph. We hit roughly $26. Now we're trading at the $38. And we are approaching that we're right at the 20 exponential. So, it has been rallying up towards 20, get rejected, rejected, get it rejected here. We'll drop back towards the $25. Um, technical indicators otherwise are very bullish indeed. Indeed, uh, 50 moving average is probably going to cross the 200 moving average here, and that will be a very negative sign for this cryptocurrency. So let's look at Dash. Very similar, this taking the same graph as well. We uh, got to the lows here at 99, or roughly uh, 100. We have rallied up towards the 50, gotten, have been struggling uh, getting past the 20 exponential. Technical English otherwise are very bullish. If we get above the 20 exponential, then we have the 50 up here at 170, 200 up here at roughly 197. But this momentum here that is looks far gone for most of the cryptocurrency market. This um, the hype is technically gone out of the market, and uh, therefore these rallies here they'll probably not be back for. A very very long time but we'll see 
that is in general for the cryptocurrency market. So let's look at Dogecoin. Yes, uh, this uh, also has a very negative trend. It has rallied up toward the 50, got rejected, 20, cannot get past that. And uh, at this current stage, we're just hovering underneath the 20 exponential. If we break down from here, then 200 moving average comes into play. Uh, if this continues, then we'll probably have the 200 moving this day, 20 that way, and 50, and then we'll have a crossing around this area here. This should be in the end of, uh, of July. And um, yes, that'll definitely be not good for Dogecoin if the 50 and the 200 moving average cross. Technical indicators otherwise are fairly mixed. MACD is uh, flat, stochastic is bullish, TCI is uh, negative, and the RSI is flat at this point. So, hope you find this helpful. You want to support your job by subscribing, hit the like button, and the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck, and thank you very much.